Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be looking at rollable tables and what you can do with them in Foundry BTT, especially when you add in a few extra modules. Alright, to get started off, the first module I recommend downloading to make your life a whole lot easier so you don't have to make everything, is I recommend downloading the module Foundry BTT Community Tables. By doing this, you become access, let me delete this, you have access to a whole bunch of different tables that have already been made by people in the community. So you can see this right away. There's a lot being added in here that you don't have to do on your own. The next thing I recommend is after you import a table, sometimes it can be a little bit hard to access because you know you have to go back to the, the particular tab. Let's say I import this angels in their descriptions. So I have this table here now, but if, whenever I want to access it, I have to go back to the top tab, find it, and then I have to open it, and then I have to roll, and it's a multi-step process. If you include the module roll table button, any ones that are imported, any tables that are imported after you install this module and activate it, will become available to you with one click. So you can easily have all of your tables here, and I believe there is an option to have it visible only to you or to have it visible to both you and your players. I'm not mistaken about that. Hey, right, the last one, that last thing that we're going to be going over is how you might add this, add a table to a magic item. Uh, something that comes in mind is maybe, which I'll be showing you, maybe I want to create a wild magic mushroom. I don't know. Something to that effect, where that whenever the player that has it uses it, it will have an effect off of a magic table, a wild magic table. Let me go ahead and show you how I set that up. So here we have my wild magic mushroom. I am using the magic item module in order to edit this item and to give it some additional effects. Using the magic item module, you can add in feats or spells or tables onto a magic item and then they become accessible to the character through the character sheet. So I went to the item itself, check that it's a magic item, and then I'm going to edit right here and I will show you how I change this in order to make it so that this item will roll off of the wild magic table. All right, the first thing I did was I went to the compendium of tables that I have and then at the very top is the 10,000 wild surges. I want to take that and drag it right there. And we can see it has already appeared here. I want it to be cast as a spell. I find that the easiest way to use it. I want it to consume one because I want this to be a one consumption and then it is gone. Because otherwise I will have a character that's always causing wild magic surges all the time. This is something special. I want it to have one charge and it is on the item. Oop. One charge and then I want it to always be destroyed after it is used. Right, at this point, I am done because it does everything I want it to do. It can be used at any point. It'll be accessible as a spell. Once it's used once, it'll go away. So if I go to the character sheet and go to the bottom, I can see it right here. And let's see what is produced when I click the item as it is in the character sheet. So we can see it rolled. Caster finds a powder that induces addictive euphoria if inhaled. I will probably think about how I can make that work. Again, maybe I need to have a different table, but this will work for me just fine. And then at the bottom, wild magic mushroom reaches zero charges. It crumbles into ashes and is destroyed. And it is no longer available on this character sheet. Let's go ahead and take at one. Let's take a look at one more example. This time, I want to make something that will not go away after one use. So I've created an item labeled fish pack. This is a pretty chaotic item, potentially game breaking, potentially game breaking, just like the magic surge was potentially game breaking. So I would probably want to be a little bit careful handing it out, but I have set it up so that I have fish bag is a magic item. Yes, I could choose to have it only available when it's equipped or attuned, but I've chosen not to. It only has one charge and it's per spell. So it has one charge and then after it's used that charge, it will no longer be available for the day. But I've added in a recharge feature where it'll recharge one after a long rest. And we can see it uses the spell or it uses the table as a spell using one charge. So let's see how this works and see if it is destroyed like the consumable 
was. It should not. So if I go down to Spellbook, I can see it right here. Items you can catch while fishing. Click that. And we can see a small base squid that glitters and sparkles with a blue light until it dies. That is what they pulled out of the fish bag. Now if I try to cast it again, if I try to use it again, let's see what happens. Fish bag does not have enough charges for items you can catch while fishing. So, I can no longer use it because of the lack of charges. I'm not quite sure if it'll still let the players do it anyway, if they click use anyway. I'm not sure about that. I haven't tested it. But you can see how this is usable and you can put all of this together. So this is, these are some uses for rollable tables outside of just you as a GM maybe thinking about wild encounters and stuff like that. Cool. I hope this has helped. Uh, the last thing I want to mention is at any point, if you don't like the rollable table button, you don't want to include it, another way you can have access to a rollable table quickly is you can take it and drag it down to the macro bar. And you can access it like here, just the same. So if you don't want to have the rollable table button, you can use that method as well. However, I like this method because I don't like to crowd up my macro bar personally. Cool. I hope this has helped. Pretty simple video. Thanks everyone for listening. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. Thanks everyone.